Aloha, hey y'all. How y'all doing today? This is William, and we'll talk about uh, audio devices today uh, and other uh, recording devices. Okay, so let's uh, jump into our first slide here. Okay, so first part, uh, actually, the image capturing devices. And um, well, these are just devices. You're converting uh, visual light waves into some kind of digital image, which is stored in a file somewhere. Okay, so there's there's lots and lots and lots of information that we can gather just with uh, light waves. So um, these can end up being you know these pretty large size files, uh, depending on how much data that we're kind of collecting uh, about the light. Okay, so. Um, We'll see. Let's get some more details on, on what's going on with this, though. All right. Let's see. So we got digital cameras. And um, basically, we're taking photos and then storing these as digital images. OK, so images that we can store on the, on the computer. And then uh, a lot of digital cameras also can be used to take uh, video as well. And um, of course, you got a whole range, uh, different kinds of digital cameras. Uh, just a point and shoot are, you know, pretty fancy ones uh, that, uh, you know, a lot more expensive. Uh, also, underwater cameras, for that matter. At any rate, so all these though work the same way. They they take they gather the light and they turn that into a, a electronic image, which is stored uh, in a file, which you can you know put on your computer and uh, do as you wish with. Okay, so let's see another device here that we have. Let's see. So another one is webcams. And these uh, devices take videos and they store them in a digital format. And typically, uh, these are sent over the internet. So if you use uh, a program like, for example, one is called Skype. Okay, so we use that to communicate with other people. Um, who are also using Skype that are on other computers. And um, you, know, you can do chat, but you can also have a, a video um, between that person and yourself. So for these, uh, we do need the, uh, the webcams to do that. OK, so let's, let's see the next part here. All right, so we have audio input devices. And in this case, we have uh, voice recognition systems. Um, I think we did a demonstration of that uh, a couple lectures ago. But uh, we got special software, okay? And it translates your voice into text. And also, you can do commands for your computer. And it's pretty good. You, you can actually train. Uh, we kind of showed you all uh, a couple lectures ago. But you can train the voice recognition system to recognize your voice. You might have certain. Uh, ways of saying certain things, um, so they're pretty. They're coming along pretty well. Um, at the same time, you know, when you say a sentence, maybe you say "red," and so it doesn't know if that's R E D or R E A D. Okay, so you can still have you know uh, things like that, uh, mistakes like that are common. Um, so really, you know, it, it's not a uh, what I'm trying to say, maybe a cure-all. You know, you can't just talk like I'm talking now, and it just -da 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 writes things out. Uh, you got to talk very slow, usually, or s slower than usual, and uh, very clearly. Um, and yeah, so also you can do commands though. Okay, you know, mouse click or you know, save or uh, what else? Uh, click send. You can do things like that, and it, it'll do it automatically for you. Okay, so voice control is pretty good. Um, does have some issues, say, with ambient noise. Okay, if you're talking to it and there's a lot of ambient, ambient noise, then it doesn't like that too much. It's hard to distinguish. It's harder for the con uh, computer to take things out of context. Yeah. So, um, but if it's if it's you know just you talking, usually it's pretty good. The voice recognition is pretty good these days at recognizing and writing down what you say. Okay, let, let's let's go for a few more slides here and see uh, see what else we have about the um, audio input devices. So kind of like I was saying, the software companies produce uh, voice recognition software. Uh, we saw Dragon, uh, naturally speaking, a demonstration of that the other day. 
And then actually, uh, if you play around with your operating system, uh, you'll, or your smartphone for that matter, uh, a lot of these have the built-in voice recognition. So again, as you, you probably know uh, or seen, uh, they, always, they don't always get things exactly right and things come out kind of funny. Um, so it just helps to talk as clear as possible and then um, what else? You, you can train it though to, to recognize uh, words that might not necessarily be common words in the English language. All right. And uh, some even are, are tweaked so you can have different accents and it'll recognize your accent. So I have mine tweaked on a southern accent, but uh, still gets some things not quite right. Yeah. At any rate. Okay, so let's, let's see what we have next here. Okay. So our audio input devices, again, a little bit more on that. Uh, so you have something called Google's Translate, okay? And pretty good. Um, you can speak. You actually speak to your browser. Okay, it's on a browser. So you speak in one language, and you can convert your words into another language. So I was playing around this other day. It was, it was pretty neat. Um, and uh, yeah, just so go online. Uh, as long as your computer recognizes sound, okay, most do, then it's it, it'll it'll work. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool. You, you, so it had like maybe twenty or thirty languages that you can choose from. So you can speak in one language, and it had twenty or thirty languages that you could output to that that, that it would um, it would output a, a voice for. So. Um, yeah, check that out. I guess, I don't know, it's more useful if you're actually traveling somewhere. But, if, you know, if you've got a buddy that speaks a foreign language and um, you all need to communicate, uh, then try that out. It's, it's kind of fun to play with. Okay, so let's see what we have next here. All right, so we'll talk a bit about output now, audio output. And uh, so they want to translate the, the data you have in the computer into sound. Okay, and uh, for these, again, you know, it's stored in the computer in this digital format. It's all down, it all breaks down to ones and zeros. So you got to have some kind of program or software that has to figure that out. And then typically you have a driver that's going to um, take that data and then um, have some kind of hardware that uh, makes the sound, okay, such as a speaker which is probably our, on our next slide here. So let, let's go to our next slide. And um, OK, so some commonly used audio output devices, of course, like I just said, are speakers. Uh, then you might also have a headset. OK. And for these, uh, uh, you, know, you might think, oh, I know what a headset is or a speaker. So uh, there's a few little things to them um, that's going on behind the scenes. Uh, so how do they connect to the system unit? Uh, you do have this thing called a sound card. Okay, so it's a special uh, hardware that's used to take the sound and turn that into the uh, ones and zeros that the computer understands. And not just that, it's got to be a certain format. Okay, uh, it's ones and zeros, but it's got a certain pattern to it. And then there's a software that recognizes that pattern, and that software is going to, and the software and hardware combination are going to you know, change that into digital or back into sound waves. Okay, so what, what else is going on inside the computer, though? Let's see. What, uh, the headset? Okay, we'll connect that with a cable to some kind of audio jack, and then that's going to connect to your sound card. So you got a couple of different uh, things working together to, to get all this to, to, to come together, I guess, yeah. Okay, so... Another um, kind of, uh, I guess, headset uh, that uses wireless connections um, is uh, like a, a, a Bluetooth headset, okay? So these, uh, Bluetooth is a technology, it's, it's short range, uh, so a couple feet, and then they're trying to, eh, yeah, the 30 feet or so, but uh, it's trying to be uh, universal, so it's trying to connect to a lot of different devices. Um, and blue, Bluetooth might sound like a weird name, yeah, but uh, actually, look back in history. So there was a person in European history that unified, you know, several countries, and um, I guess he didn't brush his teeth too much or something like that. But at um, uh, any rate, so 
Uh, that's, that's all we have for you today. And um, we'll see you all a little later in the show. All right. Aloha.